What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Guilds of Ravnica Swiss draft here on Magic the Gathering. Internet. And uh, before we start, as uh, as you do, we are going to try some uh, thanks to courtesy of Kerwit, who sent us a huge care package from Japan. Um, we are going to try some Pepsi Refresh Shot. Nice blue and red can, so it actually comes through completely on the green screen. No, no issues there. Um, I don't know what's in this. I would assume coffee, but we already had a coffee Coke. I maybe it's just like a guarine. What's the uh, what's the energy drink ingredient? Guarine and vitamin B twelve. Yeah, maybe it's just that. I don't smell any coffee. It just literally looks like Pepsi. Yeah, just looks like normal Pepsi. Smells like normal Pepsi? Yep. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Tastes like normal Pepsi? What is that? No, there's a there's something in there. Oh, there's a bit of an aftertaste, yeah. No, it's not even that. It's on the front. It's a real strong, like, very sweet taste in the front. I think it's just because you're used to regular diet. No way, man. That's a rich flavor. I'm gonna look at this up. Kerwood, do you have any information on this? Do you know what this refresh shot is? We forgot to dink it. We, we didn't dink it. Oh, yeah. Sink it. Let's dink it. There you go. Oh, it is a Japanese energy drink. All right. All right. Pepsi Refresh is a 200 milliliter Pepsi drink with double the amount of caffeine as normal Pepsi. Oh, Jesus. I like that it's smaller, right? So they're like, you know what? We'll double the amount of caffeine. In literally half the half the size of can. If you had a twelve ounce can and you doubled the amount of caffeine, okay, maybe that's a little more reasonable. But not only do they double the amount of caffeine, they have the can size. Is it proportional? No, let's read on. Uh, which is not so much. They said, uh, however, the amount of caffeine inside just thirty. Okay, so they are it is proportional. The amount of caffeine inside is just thirty eight milligrams per every two hundred milliliters. Or wait. I, I'm not sure if that's the same or if it's a ratio, which is not so much to me. The taste was just like no Pepsi ever. Pepsi claims that it is sweeter than the original. That's definitely what I tasted. It tastes like it's like that's like a richer experience on the front. I am particularly sensitive to caffeine, so when I drank this in the morning, it made me quite alert for the rest of the day. I guess you can call this an energy. <laughs> really passive aggressive ending sentence. I guess you can call this an energy drink. Posted by BB at six fourteen a.m. Yeah, that first sip is like super rich. I, I just taste normal Pepsi. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I am just used to diet drinks. This ain't no warm soda, man. This has been cool. No, this is refrigerated. This has been literally in the fridge for like a week now. Yeah, I would not drink a warm soda because that sounds disgusting. Um, What else? Yeah, here. I'll, oh, here. Let's... uh, We have some Mentos. We have some cola. Fresh cola Mentos. To go with our fresh cola, actually. So, again, this is not something I've ever seen in the U.S. You want to try the apple thing first? No, not really. Why, do you? Yeah. Of course you do. All right, I don't actually know what this is. Kurt, maybe can, Kurt can inform us. Um, this is another thing that we got. It says, uh, Tokyo Apple Butter Financier? Financier? I don't know what it is. And then the upper, upper right, it says, Tokyo Baked Base? <laughs> so I have no idea what this is. So I'm going to open it. I wish I had a knife, but my knife is on my jeans. Like you do. So, we'll just use that. Oh, look, a little individually wrapped buddy boys. Oh, these are interesting. Alright, so they're individually wrapped. Like, there's a box of, like, six of these boys. One, two, five of these boys. There you go. And it still says Tokyo Apple Butter Financier. They are apple biscuits. Ooh. Oh, the Tokyo Apple Financial District candy. Yeah, this is... What is this in here? What is in here? Is this a little... What is this? Oh, it's... Wow, there's like a little... Uh... There's like a little silica packet in there so that it doesn't get moisture in it. It says, do not eat. That's funny. Look at these little cuties. Look at this little apple cutie. Hey, no. I mean, it's just an apple biscuit. Dink it. <laughs> Boop. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Oh. Oh, this is choice. I would buy these in the U.S. 
Ooh. That is moist. Nice and appley and buttery. It's literally just like apple pound cake. It's very good, though. Ooh, that's nice. I'm a fan. All right, we'll try these Mentos sometime in the drafts. I don't want to go too long without uh, actually playing Magic. I don't know if you guys on the internet are getting annoyed at this. Those are good. Yeah, those are good. I'm a, I, I support that. I'm a fan. Oh, that is nice. Muy bueno. Is it hard or soft? It's super soft. It's like pound cake. Think of pound cake. It is an apple flavored pound cake, essentially. Frank, don't let the internet fool you. We all need a little more salt in our life or maybe that MSG. I can't remember here. Just have some bits. Hey, sir. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. What are we doing here? Oh, venerated Loxanon seems great. What's that guy do again? On the battlefield, put a plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. Okay, that's pretty good. Also, Price of Fame, also good. I think I just want to go with Loxodon. It's a pretty strong card. Let alone it's just a 4-4 four, four, for 4, for 5, for 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, 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 for 5, for 5. I think it's just this guy. We can, and, and it steers us away from the, uh, the black deck, which we've just done ad nauseum. Which is also a black card. Hey, can you chew loudly, please? We can barely hear the grossness. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Like, that is something I'm super conscious about because I don't want to eat into the mic, but we are eating something. 100 bits because my last cheer went unnoticed bits. Oh, no. Checking in repeatedly for the last six hours on my day off to see if you were streaming and nearly giving up hope bits. Franconic Disciple, I'm so sorry, buddy. Yeah, so I went to bed at like 4.30 last night. I go to bed late because I don't have to be up and I get more work done at night. So I went to bed at like 4.00. I woke up at 9, but in my head, I thought it was noon, and I'm like, God, I can get a half an hour sleep, because I set my alarm for 12.30 just to make sure I'm up, and I said to myself, you know what, I can just I can just wake up now because it's noon, and I'll just have an extra half hour, it's not a big deal, I'm awake now, whatever, so I wake up, and then I look at the clock, and I'm like, oh, it's only 9, why did I think it was noon, it was like a really weird, like, I don't know, I can't even explain it, but, um... Yeah, so it was ended up being nine, and then I had someone coming from the pest company to deal with something, and so she was like, "Yeah, I can be there in like twenty minutes," and I'm like, "Sure." So I'll just wait up for that. I didn't get to back until to sleep until like noon. This is, this is a boring story, I know it's terrible, but after getting four hours of sleep, I went back to bed and I got like three or four more hours of sleep, and I woke up at like four ish, three thirty ish, and uh, then me and Mike just got some food and I just had a later stream. What's the pick here? Legion Guild Mage, Deadly Visit. This destroys anything. Well, a creature. It's not a Vindicate, man. Yeah, it's not in this format. Oh, God. That was not pleasant. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. What? Oh, wait. Locks and Honor Store. Assassin Trophy in this format is what I meant. I think it's Legion Guild Mage. Like, Boros is going to be better than... Uh... I think this card is better than this card. Plus, this has a tap ability right on it. Oh, Inspiring Unicorn. That's choice. That's a choice, boy. Also, being able to put counters on your mentor, guys, is pretty... If this Skylight Legionnaire comes back, I'll be very, very grateful. This, this, or this coming back would be great for us. I'm going to just take the Unicorn. The Unicron. Oh, Luminous Mons? Mm, boy. It's got to be the pick, right? Serving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are we even friends? Oh, destroy a creature with toughness of four or greater. That's a good one, too. Is that better than Sworn Companions? I don't know. If I woke up at nine, my boss would kill me. If I then napped for a while, he would fire me. Yeah, I mean, that's the nice part about being... I mean, obviously, but here's the thing. Like, if I had a job like that, I would not be going to bed at four. I'd be going to bed at noon. And then you could... Or not midnight, rather. So then, like, you can erase five hours from the story. And then, instead of waking up at nine, I would wake up at four. And then it'd be a lot easier to go back and get more sleep. So, it's just a different... It's just segmented differently. I take a nice long nap every day, usually around 11 p.m. for about eight hours. That's a good, solid strategy. What do you think, man? What's the pick here? Collar or Sworn? I think it's Collar. Yeah, it's a removal spell. I agree with you. I think you can get more Sworns a little more easier. A little more easily. A little more easier. This guy's fine, actually. He dies, you get another one. Yeah. yeah. And it has lifelink, so. Ooh, boy. Four or five flyer for probably four. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's about that's about right, I would say. Every time I see this, I always think it's Night of Autumn, which is a significantly better one. 
Why do both Hellions have to gain life? I don't understand. I don't either. Is that too good to be on a creature, really? I mean, especially because you already have... Four life is a lot. If it was like, what if you gain four and they gain two? I would probably play that. As it stands, I'll just never take this card. I think Demolition is... Dem Demotion is fine. Can't block. Like, it's pretty aggressive. We also take a Hawk. A you, Shock. You got six seconds. What are you going to pick? What's pick? Hawk's fine. All right, we'll take the Hawk. Got Guardian here. Target creature you control deals damage to its power equal to target player. Eh. Not that good. I'm just going to take all the white cards right now, and we'll see what our secondary color is soon. Celestial Locket. Maybe better than Iron Shell Beetle. I'm not really interested in double green here when we're not that. It's either Locket or Iron Shell. What's the pick, man? I don't know. I think Shell Boy. Ah, uh, this guy's fine. He's beefy. Oh, I was hoping this actually came back. That's great. Or is it this? Ooh. Nah, definitely the 4-4 Vigi. 4-4 Vigi. You're going to regret it when we go super wide. Why? Because then we'd get a bunch of good buffs. Here, man, I got you this Coca-Cola Mentos. It's the Fresh Maker. All right. Fresh cola Mentos is what we're what we're snacking on here. Eh, I'll take the recluse. If we're green, it's fine to have in the deck. How is it? How did the Demir draft go? Three zero. Yeah, sure. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh. Oh, I like Amara here. Convoke, boys. Hmm. These are good. I have yet to taste a Japanese candy that I have not enjoyed so far. It does take a bit like Coke. It does take a bit like Coke. Yeah, let's get this Amara. This guy's good, but we can actually just wait. See if we got a way to play him. Oof. That's a good one. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Oh, that card's real good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope this guy comes back, but... Yeah, we're just taking Bounty of Might. Card is busted on color. Ledev is good, but it ain't no, it ain't no Bounty of Might. Gird for Battle, also very good. I think this card is great because of Mentor. I mean, this is super obvious, but maybe you guys don't know it. Um, like, you can put it on your Mentor guy, and then it, it's able to Mentor onto other creatures because it's bigger. Um, I think it's better than the old, like, Righteous Blow or Fresh Face Recruit. And it's also an Uncommon, which should tell you something. Uh, why is Bounty worded the way it is? It's so you can target three separate creatures, or you can target the same creature three times. Because if it said, like... Um, give up to three target creatures plus three plus three, then you wouldn't be able to target the same one three times. You know what I mean? So this way, it's three separate instances. Or I can give you, like, plus two. I can give you plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, and then this guy plus one, plus, plus one, plus three, plus three. That's confusing. Might just be Boros Skill. The card's game basically here. either you win the game because they randomly take nine plus your guy, or it basically rasps their side of the board. Yeah. That's that's about the gist of it. I like Guildgate here. For what? Uh, if one creature gets murdered before the spell resolves the whole thing... No, that's incorrect. That hasn't been correct for years. A spell will tr still try to do as many things as it can do. So if it can still pump two guys, it will still pump two guys. Uh, it could either be Restorer. Might just be Restorer, actually. Yeah, I like that guy. I like taking more Convoke guys because we do have Convoke Matters cards. I'm trying not to, to chew this into the mic because I, I know that's not super pleasant, but hopefully you guys can... This is a Guildgate. That's pretty good. Do we care about that in two colors, though? I guess not as much. I like Crushing Canopy a lot. Would you main deck that thing? I don't think so. I would main deck this, though. Yeah. 
kind of like this better. It's three one is just one is just not where I want to be. I'm taking this. Damn, not rewarded. Skyland Scout's good. Siege Worm's good. What about the two one for four? What does that thing do? The two one for four. Uh, you look at the top four cards of your library. You could put a, a creature or an enchantment card in, from uh, from them into your hand. It's okay. It just could be big stupid worm though, right? It could just be big stupid worm. Could just be two drop too. We don't have a lot of two drops right now. I also do like Might of the Masses, and I would not mind having one, but Big I Stupid Worm is probably pretty good. It's got it's got trample as well. I'm gonna take the Big Stupid Worm. Ooh, I like having one of these. Creatures you control get plus two plus two, or you can just search for a plains or a forest. Not bad. I mean, it's better than the 0-4 Defender and the 3-2, so... Yeah, this deck's looking very good so far. I'm a fan. This card's just fine as a 2-2 two -two for two. I, I Like, I played this yesterday. It was, it was in the deck I 3-0'd with. I mean, I never used the plus 0, plus 1 ability. I literally just had it as a 2-2 two -two for two. Which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. I don't care about the gate. Maybe it's Celestia Locket, because we have a lot of expensive things. But Convoke. But Draw 2... Draw two in the deck that doesn't have any other kind of manipulation seems good, though. I'm going to take the on-color locket. Another GERD for battle? Do you guys remember travel preparations in Innistrad? This card was insane. Put a 1-1 counter reach up to two target creatures, then you can flash it back. GERD is very similar to that. Wow, the Ladev champion came back. When the million dies, you may tap any number of creatures. That's pretty good. And you can just make one ones. Like in the late game, having ways to just put your man into something. And you can just tap him hard and make a one one. Yeah, that's insane. Wow, that's nuts. I did not expect that to happen. Yeah, I'll just take separate strands. Guardian. We have a Hitchclaw Recluse already, right? I don't care about that. I'll just take the Guardian. I'll take the Convoke guy because there's more value in us tapping our guys. I'll take Book Devourer. Joined? Oh, the might the might came back. All right. Jeez, are we the only green white drafters at this table? All the needs now is the elf coil engine. What is that? Oh, is that the um the rare the the assemble that puts three two twos into play? I had that in my deck yesterday too. That card was very good. Are any of these cards not playable? I don't think so. Yeah, this this deck looks good. This is twenty two cards already and fourteen creatures. Yeah, I'm I'm about it. About it, about it. I am about it, about it. I can cut one of these guys. I'd like to get one of the uh, two one ones for three, but oh no, the uncommon for four. Yeah, that guy's great. Oh, now we got another two drop we can play. Thank goodness. All right, that's the the other one. Um, this isn't great for us. We only have three creatures that really care about it. No, it's not the pick. I snot the pick. Could just get two two for two. Yeah, that card's solid. I would like I would also like one of the floaty boys. The only gives another floaty? Yeah, that card's great. It was also moved to uncommon. It did not used to be uncommon. Well, that's a good pickup. Literally just a oblivion ring. Or yeah, pretty good. You know, cast out, whatever you want to call it, but it has convoke. Uh which is pretty good for a deck. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Three out of first thirty two. Sacrifice, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who can't discards a card. That card's very good. Duh, definitely taking the uh, the conclave try. I don't. I'm not really. Guild, I'm not a guildgate fan in the two color decks. I just don't think you need them. Like two color decks are pretty easy to uh, to manage. <laughs> sure. Celestia Guild Mage. Sure. Six mana create a 2 2. And give you guys trample. Yep. This is a second Justice Striker passing. I'm not thrilled about that, but. Yep. Pretty easy pick. Yeah, this is not going to be the pick, unfortunately. With no Guild Gates. All you really need is one Guildgate for this card to be worth it, though. 
Meh. It's just another hunted witness. Well, I guess. Could take Pack Beast. Tap two guys, 3 3 Vigilance. Yeah, that's probably better. Pack Beast. I don't know what he's doing right now. I think the 3 1 Mentor dude's fine, but there's so many ways to just, like. You, there's so many 1-4s and other 1-3s that just trade with it, so you're mostly getting a counter and trading with a pretty mediocre creature. That's in my experience. Good lord, how many of these can we get? Oh, I think we want this. I think we want, some... we want. Um, I think that might be true. I bet one of these comes back. I like Sworn Companions here. If you have something that wouldn't make the deck a gate, it's just... If you pick up something that wouldn't make the deck... A... Yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah, I think it's just Sworn Companions. Is there any one drop? No. Another Sworn Companions? <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. All right, this is 27 cards. I'm probably taking the Hawk out. Hawk's out for you. Locks it down, restore. Crawl Foragers. That guy's good. Which one, this guy? Yeah. This guy's also fine. It's a 4-4 four, four for 5 instead, and it gives you one damage for each card in your graveyard. For each creature card in your graveyard. The Convoker's probably better, though. Yeah. You want to play two of those bros? I don't actually think I like Hunted Witness either just because of... Uh, it is better with Convoke, that's true. Two of what, bros? This guy? Mm-hmm. No, because we already have to make two cuts in the deck, and I have no idea what we're cutting. I could probably cut one of these guys. It's either second one of these or second Beetle. I think Beetle is better than the Convoke decks, or the Mentor decks, because you're putting a counter on one of your Mentor guys, and I think it's probably this, because it's just better in the late game. True. Hawks out for Harambe. Yep, I had a feeling one of these would come back. It did. Yeah. Hooray. I don't think gates are better here. Uh, I also don't want any turns where lands come into play untapped if I don't have to. Eh, righteous Blow. All right, that's actually a solid sideboard. Can I get another Creeping Canopy? Probably at some point. Is is the 2-2 two -two for 2 with Vigilance better than the 1-1 one -one that puts a counter? Probably not. I don't think Vigilance is actually better than... Being able to distribute your counter somewhere. I'll just take this. I like that this gets an enchantment too, because you can get Tribunal with it, but... No. Alright, Guildgate. Probably not playing... <laughs> we got all three of them. Literally the only... I like actually playing two of these in 16 lands, because you can just get your lands with it. Yeah, I can see that. If you need to, and then like... You want another Coca-Cola? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to pass. Because there's a lot of chewing involved, and I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not thrilled with how that uh, comes across on the vid. So I hope I didn't, hope I didn't tease you with that. You did a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Oh, she also, yeah, S Samala Woodshaper also fetches the Luminous Bonds. Actually, this deck looks really good. We have a surprising amount of removal and a surprising amount of bomby type cards. Bomby type cards would be, I don't think this is a bomb, but I think it's good. Venerated Loxodon. Yumara. Live Dev Champion's very, very good. Inspiring Unicorn. And then for removal, we also have this, this. Luminous Bonds. This deck looks really good. I could also see cutting the Pack Beast, because I don't care about it. This would be 12 creatures, but... Um, these are also creatures. So... We could also just cut the Locket. I can see that. Hmm. Can we just play one more of these? So if we're mana screwed and we and we have this in hand, like it's just we're not mana screwed anymore, but if we're not mana screwed and we have this in hand, it's just in your hand. <coughs> it's just an extra spell. Excuse me. And one more card. You can attack with Vigilance and tap to Pump Champion. Despite that very, very limited interaction. 
Uh, I still think it's one of the weaker creatures in our deck. I don't think Hawk is it. Like, Hawk is bad because we just don't have any way to pump it. I could see just putting the lock back. The lock it, lock it back. But I really feel like we just want creatures. Like, we want to maximize our creatures because we have a lot of cards uh, that benefit having a bunch of creatures. Venerated What's locks. that Warionke do? Warionke? The thing above the locket. Oh, the war the wary Okapi. It's a 3-2 mm -hmm. Vigilance for 3. Could be fine. Could just play another one of those two drops that pumps. I like that. that. I was thinking that. Yeah, I think this looks good. If it doesn't, I'm really interested in... Uh, 9-7. Monopolizing the cheer display board bits. Forgot to disciple. Dazed and confused bits. Uh, and because it's cool to sleep when you want. <laughs> I actually missed that. I think the volume might be too low. But either way, Franconic Disciple, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, color. Oh, yeah, we're definitely way heavier white. So 9-7 seems fine. 9-7 it shall be. Or we play one Gildegate. Do we just play the Gildegate? Over at Plains? Yeah. God, I just really don't like lands coming to play tapped. We can just play 8-8. Eight, eight. I think 8-8's eight, better. Alright. We're doing it. I don't like gate. I just don't want... There's no turn where I want to land to come in to play tapped. Yeah, this deck really wants to be on curve. I'm on curve, boy. So this is... 15, essentially 15 creatures. This guy seems great. Just tap all our guys. Tap five guys. Put five one one counters on things. Unfortunately, he can't tap himself to convoke. How did that even work? Exactly. What a time to be alive, though. Maybe I'm back again. Yes, I will play first. This hand is terrible considering our deck. Yikes. I would ship it. It doesn't do anything. Oh, that's much better. Uh, no. Don't need a... Two girds is going to bring the pain. Calling it. God, I hope so. Seems good for us. You okay? Oh, dear God. That'd be like giving birth to yourself or something. Yeah, it's similar. Similar but different. Don't play anything and don't kill this. Those are the those are my two requests of you. Okay. Preach. One drop, two drop, three drop, four. One drop, two drop, three drop, four. Gonna pass and not gonna attack anymore. So if we draw a three drop next turn, a three a green three drop or a two drop, we can gird. And that seems pretty gird. He's not having a good time. I'm not having a good time. Yep, we're going to take Quattro. Hey! Creatures, I like them! One, two... Um, actually, hold on. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we search for a land, we'll have seven. So, we can't actually cast next turn. So, no reason to search just yet. What just happened? 100 mics having a good time, a gird time, bits. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right. What if they out aggro us? What do we do then? Draw that card. It's a good one. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. 
Sitting in the Christmas chair, it's coming home again. Uh, I wonder why you targeted that guy. Why wouldn't I? Because that guy they have to pay to make flying. Yeah, but it still has flying. You know, it's like I don't want them to have just a second evasive creature on the board in case it we get to a point where like we can't deal with it. I was just saying, why not just take the other guy? Why would you kill the that? Why not just wait the fresh face recruit? Yeah, the one that flying haste. Oh, because I didn't want them to double block my creatures this oh, time. Oh, okay. They wouldn't have, but you don't know that. We're tapped I out. I know everything. Why would you kill this instead of this? I guess they're more afraid of a 3-3 than a... Come on, Frank, it isn't even Halloween yet. That's fair, I guess. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. These these hands have not been great for us, unfortunately. Ah, that's actually good. Meh, that's actually good. Meh. Here we are actually gonna... Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Michael B's lane. No. Right down his lane. No. Oh, no. Deck does need more surveil. You're right. They have two cards, we have two cards. We are going to one card, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can tap everything on board to play the four, five next turn. And then they kill it and we take six. Seems bad, but... I assume they're just going to four us here. And then they're going to inescapable blaze us. Are you ready? In before inescapable blaze to the face. They're going to tank about it for a second, though. They always tank about it. Doesn't look like it. Spoiler, Mike B is Santa? Oh, I see. You just had the same dude I had. So the sad thing about playing this guy is now they still just kill us. We block one guy and then they and then they kill us. Okay, knock it off. What do we do here? Just nothing. We have nothing. Yeah, I think we're dead. They were too aggressive. I wish they had given us a green white planeswalker. Oh, that's really sad. Look how sad that frog is. Oh, little Pepe. It's so sad what's become of you. It's too late, Pepe, now it's too late. That's real cool. Why are you playing, playing that card? That card's not good. And the deal is two for four damage. Yeah, no bueno. I want to bring in Crushing Canopy here. Oh, this Crushing guy has Kenobi. reach. That's actually not bad if it has reach. Yeah, I like it. Oh, Righteous Blow also comes in. I'll take out one of the girds. Ship it. Ship it and rip it. I wonder if we just play uh, this guy. Just play all the life gain. Doesn't seem bad. You seem bad. Wow. 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 Also, one for each guy is not terrible. Yeah, they'll never get past that. They actually won't. What are you going to do about that, dummy? <laughs> say we play it. Bring it in. Okay, take it easy. No, we really did try to make it. Something inside a nine. We got the four or five flyer. Really? It's pretty expensive. It is a little expensive. I'll bring in the other restorer, maybe. That guy's also expensive, though. This is probably fine. All right, we'll do it. We'll get her done. You'll be dead. What if we're not dead? You'll be dead. I'll keep this hand. Crushing Obi-Wan Kenobi. Definitely searching for a land with this hand. Definitely searching for a land with this hand. I will flower. What do we want more? Double green or double white? Probably double white. Well, maybe. Yeah, we have a unicorn. I guess that's fine. Get another white. 
My name is Michael and I live in the trash can. I just visit often. I don't really live there. Oh, it's just your vacation? It's your summer home? Mm-hmm. That's nice, man. I mean, that's not a coaster. Is it? Everything's a coaster if you believe. Hmm. Hmm. The world is your coaster. Pretenders done quickly. Pretenders. The worst part about the uh, Swift, I think it's called like Swift Justice, is that like even if you pump it, it still dies because it's still symmetrical. Mike the Trash Can Man would be a Sesame Street character. I think that's already a Sesame Street character <laughs> called Oscar. It's always strange to me that Michael Barbablu is not a sub because your name is literally derived solely from stream memes. Uh-oh, here we go. What, why would you... Why would you pay an extra mana for this? <laughs> Are they going to be like, oh, it doesn't work the way I think it did? They're like, I don't understand why didn't that work. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Is this worth Luminous Bonzing just to like... I think we also play land here, right? You doing okay with her? I'm just hanging out with the dog. The dog? Mm -hmm. Don't call him that. His Bye, name wow, is Hunter. wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. Bye, wow, yippee yo, yippee well, yay. He is the only dog in the house. Don't tell people that. They don't need to know our dog habits. Dog habits. Our dabits. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just attacking with these guys. This doesn't feel like a. Might of the Masses turn. Might of the Masses. That's good. Was that a song or what, what was that? What would you call that? It was something. Yeah, that's what I say about your life. I'm like, that was really something. Now I'm going to have another Coriander Pretz if you guys remember from the last video. Forgot to read the full card. There we go. All right, we figured it out. Oh, yeah. Remember this guy? I mean, how are you going to tease me with that Mentos and need a Pretz? messed up man. here here's a mentos then oh that was an aggressive mentos <laughs> uh, an aggressive oh my god goodness gracious here's watch this you ready for this yeah this is pretty good attack of the killer tomatoes you take eight okay seems good Gurdness. So where are the Japanese people eating candy? I only see white people thinking of... Um, is that... What, is this, what does the title say? It says Japanese candy tasting. It doesn't say Japanese people eating candy. I'm trying to like even figure out like how to word it in such a way that that joke works. I don't think it works. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, now they're playing a gold guy. They figured it out. It's a four mana gold guy. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be true fire captain. I got luminous bonds. I ain't even much scurred. Are they just dead, basically? It's going to be close, yeah. Too bad this doesn't give trample. I guess that's too much for one mana. Even if they block here, they take three, four, five. Yeah, they're just dead. I chose not to kill them. I like how you give them. I read the chat. Okay, so every time you guys use the lull and you're a subscriber, I get so upset because I made you this lull. I made you the beautiful lull, and you guys don't use my lull. And it makes me so sad. Don't forget to kill them. Nah, too late. Watch them just play like gain seven life. Big guy can't deal with it. Oh god, they are gonna play it. Oh, God. So, plus, they're actually, they're still dead, but I still, I'm not thrilled with how that worked out. Why would you tap this instead of this? It's colorless. Had to tap that right, they actually might have lived. 
You might have lived had you tap it correctly. Wait, how? Because they have two blockers? This has luminous bonds on it, man. It's literally right here on the card. Mm -hmm. Fair. Eh, might as well put on the Oogie Boogie one. The Oogie Boogie one. Shh, don't, don't be like this. They're going to be like, nice top deck, and I'll be like, joke's on you. I had it last turn, and I just forgot to cast it, dummy. <laughs> it's so easy to type lol. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Oh, I don't even type the emote. I just, I just, I just, I just spell it out. Spell the emote out. Spelled out. Oh, yes. Should Hawk come in here? Eh. Is Hawk better than like 2-2? Two -two? Maybe. The life gain could be relevant. It's only good if you get on turn 1 though, right? Like he's really bad on turn 3 or 4. Plus. Not if you can make it real big. Hey, what's going on? I'm so caffeinated right now thanks to this refresh shot. Really? I mean... Do you feel in your veins? I don't know. At least there's no caffeine in that. I think Elk Tears is literally having a stroke right now. Can someone call 911 and, and, and make them aware of Elk Tears' uh, his issues? He's in Brooklyn, so... If they need to know where to go, that's where Brooklyn. they gotta go. This is actually fine. I think the flower versus flourish. Flower flourish is uh, making these unkeepable hands pretty keepable otherwise. I'm in Brooklyn. Oh my god, what if 11 secret herbs and spices and elk tears become secret friends? What if... Can 11 herbs and spices join the draft boys? Oh, and we just realized... Why do they have to be secret friends? Why can't they just be regular friends? Why can't you shut your mouth when I'm talking to you? Because that doesn't make any sense. It will. I'm still going to flower to hit a third land drop because I don't want to be missing on, on our sworn companions. Every time you guys say Brooklyn is BK, I always think it's Burger King. Where do you live in Burger King? <laughs> oh, turn three this, turn four this guy. Put some counters on your boys. Give me a two drop too. Come on. Come on. Daddy needs a two drop. Daddy didn't get his two drop. No Strand. No Strand Avenue. Oh, that sounds familiar. This is surprising. Okay. Dude, Elk Tears, that's probably super close, is it not? I'm not a... Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at these... Look at these Brooklyn Magic players coming together in this stream. I don't know who you are exactly, but I played there a bunch last year. I've been too busy to play much this year. Wow, this is amazing. Do, 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 do. That's the more you know. That doesn't really make sense, but I wanted a connection jingle, and I feel like that's a good connection jingle. Connections. Yeah, this is... I think their guy is worse than ours, right? 2-4 is worse than our 4-4 four four that pumps our guys? Yes. 2-4 is still pretty good on this board, though. You know, what, you know what else is good? If we draw another one of these, and then we can just play Venerated Loxon and pump them all. Oh, that's close. It's not really that close, but it's close enough. Now we get to give up Righteous Blow and Might of the Masses. Might of the Smasses. Is Big Butt Pizza near the big game? <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. We were... <laughs> Dear Reddit Frank stream misconnections. We were in a stream. You were given funny bits and made a meme about Pokemon. I'd love to hang out and get to know your silly cat. Yep, your Loxodon is still worse. All their Loxodons are worse than our Loxodon. Your Loxodon sucks buttholes. But My Loxodon's OP. So we can play this guy. 
and then we have one, two, three, four guys, five guys, and then we can still keep up white and green. That's pretty good. Put a counter on. A well, not the two four. We get three five. Well, then, then then it becomes even bigger. Right. One, two, three, four, five. This is really strong. Especially because we have Flourish next turn. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Four, six, two, 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 two. Venerated Loxodon, no joke. Felipe, come home. Then he leave home. Felipe, come home. Then he leave home. Felipe, come back he home again. Back. What are you gonna do? That's fine. I feel like our creatures are better. Are they not better? Are you not entertained? How much life do we gain if we actually flourish here? Oh, that's good. I'm a fan of everything that's happening right now. Oh man, I wish we had this last turn when we when we convoked. You know what I'm saying? I know what you mean. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Hey man. You know what I'm super saying? Hey man. Do I just attack with like these two? I feel like it's pretty good for us if we do. Yeah, we gotta start getting in there. They have two mana. They only have one red. This guy's gonna take a bunch in the front. This guy's gonna take a bunch in the back. I don't know what these things I'm saying mean. <laughs> I'm just kind of saying them. Oh, two chumps? Sure. Oh, that was just fine. Are you picking your boogers? Are you picking your lip? You got a little lip. You got a little dangly lip skin. A little bit, yeah. Dangly lip skin was Mike's porn name. Wow. I don't know what that means, but you know, he paid the bills. He got he got the job done. Whatever that means. I couldn't think of another profession where the name dangly lip skin would be good. I don't even think it's good there, but that's like the that's like the meme, right? Like, what are the odds we do this and nothing bad happens? Is it a sorcery? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was an instant. I mean, it feels like this is the time. We don't actually have more creatures. We could wait one more turn to Might of the Masses, but... I mean, we're gaining eight. We're getting another 1-1 one, one out of it. Like... In Inescapable Blaze. You nailed it. Sure. That's good. They did have the Inescapable Blaze, we called it. They just didn't have it at the time. Come to Twitch, watch Frank say words. That's all I want to do. Yep. 4444664444. Four, 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 six, six, four, 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 four. I feel like we're favored here. I don't think we win. Like, we don't even have enough power on board to win. This is 10, 4, 8, 12, 22. So they could actually take it all go to 4. We're gaining at least 8. That's pretty good. And then we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six, plus six next turn. I assume the Amara is going to die. Yeah, we're going to take out the two, four. This is what I mean. Like, if we leave this guy alive, like, we could just block it forever. Oh, I take 18. Yikes. And if we had the mana for Righteous Blow, we could have killed this and saved the Amara, but... They can't, no, no, they definitely can't take us on the crackback. Believe it or not, uh, we are still advantaged here. This is a good card. You're right. One, two, three. It's only plus five, plus five for one mana. Uh-oh. If you tap out, we're so safe. It's unbelievable how safe we are. Double inescapable blaze. Wow. Could force them to trade with it. Um, it would be six. Actually, I think that's correct. Because it's it's gonna be a nine nine. So like they have to put this guy in front. Yeah, that's actually fine. I mean, it's still a four four. It's the biggest guy. And then they still like if they block here, they take one two three four five, and we still have five power to their none. It can't be countered though. So don't try to counter it. 
Yep. Time to just righteous blow this guy. <clears throat> Gets to keep another 2 2 on the board. Yep. So they take. Yep, they're at three, and we have lots of lethal things. Do you know what the Ravnica Allegiance draft format will be? Split or all. I have no idea what that even means. Looks like we escaped it. <laughs> yep, that is what I would say as well. I want to say good games. Nope. They want to hawk it out. We'll hawk it out. Oh, they got something else? Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, that's a good card. That's a good card. We're not dead. They're not dead. We're not dead. Damn. Let the flood commence. So they just go block here, block here, maybe take four. They can't do that. So they have to block. They have to chump block with the hawk. Aren't they just dead? No, because they gain one, they go to four. So they block two, two, twos, they take three. They go to one? Okay. Oh, maybe they... Oh, well, they weren't just dead, right? Like, they block 1-1 one, one here, they block 2-2. Maybe two, they thought two. that was a 2-2 two, two and didn't think about it. They block 2-2, two, two, block 2-2. Two, two. They take 3, so they go... But then they gain 1 life. We lose two. We lose 1 guy, but then we still have 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and 1-1 one, one on board. It's still pretty bad for them. Yeah, that's actually... That'll do. All right. Yeah, this deck seems fine. Yeah, so here's the funny thing about the quotes. There were a lot of quotes that sound absolutely terrible out of context, right? Um, like, there was a quote that was like, oh, we can murder it because it's black, right? I'm referring to, like, a black card and, like, a lot of cards not being able to destroy black creatures, but the, the, the card murder can. So, like, that was a quote, and I'm just like, the card that sounds terrible out of context, so I just deleted them. That's the point, right? But it looks terrible for me. So... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's funny that doesn't make me look like a racist, sexist asshole. And and that's what I'd prefer. I'd pref because if someone doesn't isn't familiar with magic and they just see the quote that's like, Oh, we can we can murder it because it's black. Like it just sounds terrible, you know, for example. Or like I think there was like there was like uh, like I think the blow the blow one was like, I think I can like I could blow two of these dudes or something. Like and it's just not Eh, it's just not good. Yeah, he's just going ham. Ham, skillet, swine. Uh, let's go get a thing. So we can go turn two this, turn three this, turn four this, turn five this. Like, we can just... Our hand, we're just going to convoke the life out of this. Oh, if we drop, can we top take an Amara? You know how good that would be? Pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. I prefer not to be considered a bigot. I, same. Franconic Disciple, I agree. Thank you so much, buddy. You are keeping me alive. They got two guild gates, though, man. I think we're dead. Oh, tears, buddy. Oh, they're playing Sultai. That's why we're dead. Oh. Look how fancy. So fancy. Actually, we can play the 4-drop instead of the 3-drop. Is that better? They have no blockers so far. Yeah, I'm just going to play this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll have 6 mana next turn, so we can just play Re Restore if we want to. I think we play Guardian. I don't think we take down our, our attack attacks. Yes, cringe is correct. Cringe is the appropriate emoji. Or uh, emoticon? Emoticon online. Oh, wow. It's a Trotta. That's pretty good. Well, that's why we're just... that kills any creature. Yeah, we're just going to kill it. Hmm. Good, good idea. Mm, no, I'm good. Thanks. Can't find a better man. Really? Who? Oh my god, who cares? This card's actually pretty good. Four mana to draw a card is rough, but I mean, if you're not doing anything else with it, then, you know, knock yourself out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's play you. And then we can tap you to pump this guy.
And if you want to double block, I'm totally fine with that. I will accept that. Also, if you want to spend four mana on your turn to draw a card, like... What do emoticons transform into? Uh, More than meets the eye. Poop. These wow. poop. These breaths are making me thirsty. That's a good one. That's a solid Seinfeld meme. Can you please, please, please promise us that if you pack one, open a lantern, you'll do five color good stuff with a bunch of gates? I will do that. If we if we pack one, pick one a lantern, I will definitely do that. How is some elf not subbed? What is the deal with that? You went from like 70, 70 years of subbing. You had to change your name and then you don't even sub anymore. Unbelievable. Wow. I feel like you were just doing it for the for the for the for the score, for the scoreboard of it now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Kyle. Are they really considering they're like maybe I just double block it? I would love if they double block. Same, dude. Three cards to three cards, and our hand seems very good. And our board seems better. Hey, man, feel free to have some of these prets if you want. There's still more left? Yeah, I'm eating them right now. You mean the ones I'm putting in my mouth? Yeah, there's still some of those. They come with a lot, man. They perma-banned me. Are you serious? There actually was a lot in there. You're right. I will not block your little life linker. Safe for work and safe for the stream. I don't know if I believe you. Is what? It's, um... I'll trust kind buds. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'll show that. If I can get it to... Alright. There you go. There you go, guys. That's what Kind Bud shared. So we can go Sworn, dude. Transformers, more than meets the eye. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven. We can play Guardian. Scuba do 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 the Decepticons. Mike BB burr 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 One, two, three. Four, uh, let's get in there with these gentlemen. I will say yes to you and I'll tap down Mr. Unun. That's Mr. Unun. I'm a fan of our board right now. Just worm them into oblivion. Well, it's hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade here. I don't even care if you if you got that. I don't care if you got it. That's sad. This card's good. Five mana for, for one ones is a lot though, but How you doing over there? He's how's he doing? How's Cutie McGee over there? He's liking my coriander fingers. My, you have coriander fingers? Yeah. I feel like I should have noticed this. Yep, that is fine. They're at 10. They're basically dead. We can do whatever we want. It's a little venom for you. Mike BB books. They are more than me. <laughs> are they, though? These are the questions we ask ourselves. More than meets the eyes. Brian, you owe me a message, man. I don't know what's going on with anything. Keep me keep me posted. Keep me posted. Amanda Worm was my ex-girlfriend. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I believe you, Justin Ungiven. I don't know what to do here. One, two, three, four, five. We, it's funny because like in the Convoke deck, you have to count your creatures, and then it's like counting your mana. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can actually play Luminous Bond, play Siege Worm, and keep one creature up. One, two, 
One, two, three, four. They're missing land drops. I'm just tagging with three, four here. I don't even care about the Luminous Bond, to be quite honest, because uh, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't shut off the ability. If it shut off this ability to draw cards, I'd be like, eh, I don't care. It seems to me, Michael, that we can do whatever we want. I don't know, man. I'm so, like... It feels like we're watching... Brian, that's me. He's just sending a message bit. It's not... <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. The old 10 message bits. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people said it feels like a superhero movie. That, oh, I didn't want to do that. Dang it. Now I have to restore my tabbies. No, I have it saved. They always they always restore automatically. What am I, some kind of amateur? Some, some tab amateur? You still all have to load. Mike can do whatever Mike wants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to counter this faux show. But they only have five mana, so if they counter it... No, nope, they didn't counter it. Okay. This is the part where the... Where Firefox just doesn't restart. Hmm. How cute. We just draw plus two, plus two. We have two of them. We don't have a single card in our... Oh, yeah, we do. I was like, we don't have a single card in our graveyard. I was like, oh, yeah, we do. They're over here. Mike Formers, more than Mike the Eye. Oh, Firefox is installing my updates. All right, well. Pass it up. I'm always okay with updates. If software updates, I'm like, yes. Because it always... A lot of times it means, like, improved things. Yeah, I'm probably going to Luminous Bonds that dude. <gasps> oh, it happened. Look oh. what we did. <laughs> we just play that, right? We just windmill slam it here? Probably. I mean, they're going to be able to chump here. Which don't cost the wrong But they're half. at seven. Yeah, that's actually... I do worry about that because... It doesn't tell you, like, mana costs. It should say, like, flower cast, one mana, flourish cast, six. Because you actually have to read it and be like, which which FLO word is it? Oh, it's flourish. Okay. And then we got, like, a million. Justifying the continued use of Firefox bits. I actually like Firefox. I use Firefox over, uh, over Chrome frequently, so... Oh, interesting. We can do whatever we want, Michael. How many times are you going to quote that? I'll say movie? it a million times, okay? Shut I up. I hope the movie ends up being good. Well, in my face, I guess. I'm going to look up the, some of the initial tweets. Initial reviews, Venom. There was an article with some of the initial tweets from the... Uh, and boy, oh boy, are some brutal. Um... All right, so someone says, Sorry to say that Venom is pretty much a complete failure. A, to a tonal mess that feels 15 years old, ignoring the storytelling strides that the superhero genre has made in recent years. A few fun Venom-centric moments aside, it has nearly nothing to, to offer. Don't get your hopes up. Someone says, Venom is Catwoman level bad with Tom Hardy's worst performance since The Means War. I've never even seen that. Don't see the movie. Social embargo for Venom is up. I talk about this a lot in my review, but this is a movie that somehow slipped through a wormhole from 2004. That's my biggest take. It's a movie that's that spilled from the pre-Marvel Cinematic Universe era through a crack in time and space. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty bad because they're basically saying that like before superhero movies were good and had any sort of continuity, that's where this came from. Think of like the like independent era. Think of like the independent super movie superhero movies that were just made as standalone movies in the early 2000s, you know? And that's what that's what people are comparing it to. So even if they don't, like, this is still six, they go to one. And they lose this, this, and this. Um, significant chunks of Venom don't work at all. 
they say at all in in and emphasized. Daredevil is also pretty rough. But there is some serious charm to the Eddie Venom relationship. Not sure I had the intended reactions to some scenes, but fun is fun, even when it's totally ridiculous, right? It's too bad they didn't go for the R rating. The Daredevil movie was rough, yes. Daredevil the show is pretty on point. Um, someone else said, not sure if Tom Hardy's weirdness sabotaged Venom or saved it, but it has a self-aware cartoonishness, especially in its later half. It's not good, but it's better than expected. Doesn't feel like an R-rated film. I'm guessing the deleted 40 minutes is just Hardy clowning around. This is pretty good because we have one removal spell for whatever they play, and then we have a bunch of dudes. And they're at three and we're at 28. Yeah, this card's very, very good. I remember Hellboy's being kind of cool, but like quirky. Hellboy definitely had a quirkiness to it, where it's like, you know you're not supposed to take it too seriously. But also visually, Guillermo del Toro makes insane yeah, that's movies. Why, that's why that was the thing I liked about it. It looked it looked really good. Visually, the Hellboy movies are insane. And it's like it's hard to not enjoy. Ollie, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the raid. You are awesome, and I love you. Uh, someone else said Venom was the epitome of too many cooks in one kitchen for me personally. Outside of the interaction between Eddie and Venom characters, everyone else felt bland and hollow. Charm was not enough to distract me from the questionable second act and the finale. Fun would work in 2008. It's like I feel like the bar has been raised, but Venom's just like, eh, we're not going to go along with it. I'm just going to do this and see what we can do here. Hopefully win. Hopefully win. I like all like winning. Oh, we win. So if they had a two mana, like the two mana bounce spell, they could go two mana bounce spell, pay three mana to copy it, and then bounce something else. But instead, we're just going to win. I like that. Didn't they just announce a new... They did announce a new Hellboy, and I was actually curious whether it was going to be Ron Perlman or not. Because Ron Perlman has been a pretty excellent Hellboy. Oh, it's David Harbour. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. He played the, Interesting. He played the cop. I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if you... You don't, you, you don't know names as well as I do. Although I haven't seen season two of uh, that yet. Oh, that's very good. We should watch that too. I'm fascinated with Venom. The cast seems to all know they're in a darker superhero movie, except Tom Hardy, who is basically remaking Jim Carrey's Liar Liar. I kind of loved watching this movie in a Rocky Horror type of way. At one point, Tom Hardy and Venom make out. Mm. So there's this part in the preview, and everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it, where Tom Hardy's like, Oh, why'd you have to go and do that? When it's like when the, the suit like punches somebody. And it's just like, why are you acting like that? Like, it, the, the, my first reaction was like, why is he be, why is he like being all weird about it? Oh, no. Why would you do that? Oh, I had to have to go and do that. <laughs> and I was just like, why is he acting like that? <laughs> I don't think we saw enough for Crushing Canopy. Maybe we should see it for how bad it is. That's That was what I was thinking. Yeah. And the YouTube comment boy. Well, I spoke to Thomas just yesterday, and he says it was great, and is pushing for a sequel. I don't know if we bring in Canopy. I have to assume the red, bl the black, blue deck has some sort of flyers. Um, but we didn't really see them. Is that you or Hunter? That was me. You okay? Didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I think we're fine without anything, though. Like, our deck is good. I'm just going to submit it like this. David Harbour is the guy from Stranger Things. Yeah, he's the cop. He's playing the new Hellboy. Um, action sequences and Eddie and Venom's odd relationship are the highlights of Venom, but if Sony wants to move forward with the universe, it needs to just keep the few parts that work and scrap the large portion, which doesn't. Uh, he goes on to say, Tom Hardy is Eddie Brock, and Venom has some really entertaining moments. A clunky script without nuance bogs the Venom down, pre preventing it from uh, choosing between being gritty, funny, or something unique. <clears throat> And now that impressions can be shared, Venom is pretty much this year's Fantastic Four. Oh, everyone except for Hardy is coasting through their performance. I would hate to have to do press for this movie. Oh, God. The fact that you had Spider-Man Homecoming and it was integrated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe means you have absolutely no excuse for this movie being bad. None. You have no excuse anymore. I'll keep this hand. Any one or two drop is very good. We don't have that many one drops, though. I don't think we have any one drops. Come on, Imara. I'll take Imara or Guild. Oh, this year's Fantastic Four. Oh. 
Oh, the cringe. Venom wasn't as bad as everyone was saying it was going to be. Tom Hardy is and always will be a great actor, and I laughed a lot, but I'm not sure whether that was intentional or not. post credit scene is fire. Okay, that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. I like playing this guy next turn and actually being able to pump this guy enough to get through, but that's not going to work because we only have two guys, and this is an 05, not an 04. So it sounds like you should just go see it and make a judgment based off your own experience of the film. Well, that's most movies, yes. But also, like... I don't really like... I feel like that's kind of disingenuous because, like, that just says, like, reviewers don't know what they're doing. And I, by and large, know that re reviewers have um, enough movie experience to know how plots and, and things like that work. Uh, acts, different acts, plots, actors, things like that work in, in a film, right? You know if the acting is good. You can tell if the plot is good. You can tell if there's an act one, two, and three. You can tell there's a... Like... And reviewers know this. So being just people just people who say like you just go see the movie and see if you like it. Well, yeah, I could probably do that. But also I'm not discounting these opinions because they are from people who do this for a living and they know what they're doing. Like it's their job to critique things. So I mean I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna take them take their words for, for what they are, you know. Venom is a one man buddy film bonded with an anti hero origin story and Tom Hardy pulls it off like only he can. That's good. Venom really is a period piece from the early days of superhero films. Wow, that's so funny that two people have said that. I could just call her this culprit. That seems like bad value. It doesn't seem great. I'd rather Luminous spawns it. The problem is this is very limited. Like, it can only kill certain things. Like, what's, true. what's the difference between... I mean, like, this is also better mana use. Um, I don't see any reason to attack here, so I'm just going to pass. Oh, you're going to do a thing? Sure. Uh, Venom really is a period piece from the early days of superhero films, and it's clear they were aiming for this. I feel bad for anyone that uses this as a negative point because they're too used to the same flavor of hero movies we have from... We have... Superhero movies we have from... I think they said form, but I think they meant from the MCU and DCEU now. That's interesting, but that's kind of too nuanced. Like, it feels like you're going for a real niche film if that's your, if that's your goal. Like, why not just forget that part and make it more uh, in step with the movies that exist now? What's my favorite superhero movie? That is a good question. I saw Ragnarok the most, I think. I saw Ragnarok like four times in theaters. That's a good one. It was definitely good. Um, I'm not sure it's my favorite. It feels, wow. All right. Well, it's a one for one. Unfortunately, we have nothing else going on for us. <sighs> this is rough. I still really, really like the Dark Knight as far as favorites go. Dark Knight's very good. Watch one was good. Oh, like X-Men Days of Future Past. Ooh, a little rough. A little rough. Venom was surprisingly funny. I had a freaking great time watching it. Despite some problems, it did right by its main character, Eddie Brock Venom. People forget that he's always had a weird sense of humor in the comics, and that humor is fully on display in the movie. Wow. That's pretty good. That seems really risky. If I had anything here, I could just kill that, but... What are you going to do? Some stay dry while others... Cool. Well, now we're definitely bringing in uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. One, two, three, four, five. Or one mana shy of doing all the things. And even if we play this guy, eh, whatever. God, do we really want to just luminous bonds this guy? <laughs> I think we have to. Yeah, you're right. 
You're right. It's not you ideal. You still surveil, but whatever. They have to pay two life for it. Yeah. Pistachio Macaron. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Pistachio Macaroon? Is it is it Macaroon? It's Macaroon, right? Even though there's one O. Macaron. Macaron. Wow, they just kept both cards on top? Yikes. Sure. Okay, this is a lot of lands here. I feel like I'm just scooping. Yeah, this hand's pretty rough. Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Chocolate rain. This hand seems to be rough with, uh, you mean, with me in Forest? Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I agree with you. Remember that time Firefox was like, hey, we're working on the update right now. We'll be open in a minute. Still never opened. And it never did. Yeah, we're going to Spinal Centipede. I guess we might as well see what they have. They don't really have a way to win here, so. They found it. <laughs> Their way to win? Yeah. 19 turns, boys. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah, we did see that. Oh, that doesn't fly, though. God, I always think this flies. You know, because it's a vampire and it's so close to the moon and it's on a building. So, Oh, look, another, another forest. Yeah, I'm going to scoop here. Uh, we are at 19, but m my life, uh, my actual life, not my game life, is more important. Wow, okay. So we're probably dead anyway. So eight, 12 lands. Seems good out of 16. Well, I could tap the land. That's fantastic. Yep, definitely bringing Crushing Canopy. Game's over. Still tapping lands. Chocolate lands. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. No. Chocolate lands. No. Chocolate lands. Just no. Michael Bay. Did you bring in that canopy? Yeah, bro. Okay. No need to... No need to warm your chills. No need to peanut? I don't know what that means. No. I am delicious but kind of expensive. Also, thanks. I watch the YouTube all the time. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I like it when people just watch the YouTube and they come to... Uh, they come to sub because it's kind of a... They come to sub. Kind of a big deal. All right, so now there's probably 15. Yep, I'm going to end all of these. Because, like, if you're just watching on YouTube, but you make it over to Twitch just to sub, that's super awesome. I can't tell if these are even ending. <laughs> Can you select them all? No. They don't like Pokemon, man. Pokemon, man. I am Pokemon Man. Forgot the middle one. No, I got them all. They just have not, they're not ending, so. I'm trying to end all these Firefoxes because, well, they're not really working. We also have not drawn this once yet, which is kind of for, kind of funny. Yeah, card's pretty good. But... Is it? How do, I wouldn't know. I've also not drawn my Inspiring Unicorn once. Something wrong. I will play first. Well, Jiminy Crickets. This hand seems good. Turn two this, turn three this. Well, I like it. Let's get a Foresto. My name is Michael. I am a biscuit. I live in the garbage can. Can you move that window slightly? This one? Mm -hmm. How about I close it? That's fine. Did you know that today in 1992 the Mighty Ducks came out in theaters? I did not know that. Why do you know that? Ooh. Ooh, some stay dry while others feel the pain chocolate raid. Oh, we play this and then next turn we can tap this with it. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Oh, snickerdoodles. Oh, snickerdoodles. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Say it again, and I'll punch you in the throat. Okay, snickerdoodles. All right, I think we have to do this. I'm not going to be missing land drops here. Green. If I only had a green. 
If I only had a green. This is a good combo. Okay. Do we just might here? I feel like we might. Gets the wall off the board, you know what I mean? It does get the wall off the board. Gets the bodies off the board. I don't think I care about it, though. Really? It just doesn't do anything. I mean, it slows down our clock significantly. I guess that's true. I just feel like this match is all about pressure. Well, next turn I can just I can punch through, though. Like, next turn I'll have enough because I have this and this. Or I can just play this guy. Plus, I'd rather keep this guy alive in case they have, like, a damage spell or, like, a negative spell. Hmm. Like, they have an, if they have an artful takedown for this guy. Oh, they're just going to do that. They're just going to keep this guy tapped. I see. I see. Okay. Well, that's two mana you're spending. There you go. Oh, the Amara. Okay. Okay. Oh, D-Touchy. D-Touchy. <laughs> A little D-Touchy. Oh, we can play both of these boys. If I only had a grain. Yeah, we're just going wide here. And if they want to trade Death Toucher for 2-2... Two, two. Justice for a little death, little death, little de touchy. I remember little Boofy. Little Boofy's still in prison, though, unfortunately. He'll get his justice one day. He had a parole hearing, but he didn't. Uh... See, now I might do it, but I, now I'm gonna play Guild Mage instead. This is a fine trade. That's like my weakest creature. I don't even care about it. Justice for little Boofy. If you guys go to justiceforlilboofy.com, you can find out all about him. I want to I want to buy the domain justiceforlilboofy.com, and then I want to have a picture of you, and then mock it up like Post Malone, so you look like him, and then I can put like bars in the front, and I'll say justice for Lil Boofy. If you want to go through that length of commitment for this meme, I applaud you. Okay. I mean, I think memes are they make life worth living. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Post your brown. Did you eat all these prints? No, man. Oh, you saved me too? Yeah. Why are you eating it like that? That's not the intentional way to consume it. Prove it. I don't want to eat the last one to prove it. You eating it doesn't, doesn't prove that that's the intentional way to eat it. Sure it does. Okay, well... That was also a Chester the Cheetah. What do you want? Oh, here we go. What do you want? Tell me. That Use was also a Chester words. Cheetah ate, uh, ate his things. One, two. So two, three, four, five. Eh, you don't seem good. Is it worth trading here? I gotta get this dude off the board now. Trample demon in the wind. Chest of the Cheetah used to freebase Cheetos. That's probably wow. true. I mean, we say wow, but yeah, that's probably accurate. I could see that being a thing. This is my demon. Also, butt chug them. <laughs> You know, well, 
Every time you talk, Kyle, I, I'm 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 one step closer to realizing why your account got permanent. I know about break. Oh Jesus. Honest answers only, Mike. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in public? I once vomited on a bus driver in downtown Pittsburgh for mine. Wow, that's pretty good. The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in public? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. In public. Yeah. Because it's not embarrassing if it's in private, you know? Like, if I was in my bedroom alone and I shit my pants, like, that sucks. But I'm not embarrassed about it because there's no there's no embarrassment to be had. Oh, one time I got uh, ants all over my pants and I had to take my pants off and run upstairs. <laughs> so that was pretty embarrassing. Where was this? In my apartment complex where I used to live. Wow. I was uh I was like standing against a tree and I didn't realize there were ants all over it and they like they like crawled up my leg and there was like a million ants all over me. Wow. It was pretty bad. I don't know, man. If you manage to embarrass yourself in private, it's probably pretty bad. That's true. There were fire ants, by the way. So it was very painful. Oh, they think it's plus three, plus three, but it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't wait just two weeks till jazz cigarettes are illegal in Canada. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, it was basically ants in my eyes, Johnson, but it's in my eyes. It was my legs. Oh, it's me, ants, old ants in your eyes, Johnson. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is plus seven, plus seven, but we're just going to put it on here. Like, you're tapped out, so I don't imagine you have any Convoke cards. But we are going to gain nine life and kill your demon. You got it. Surveil your little heart out. So we wanted to keep them thinking that that two things. First, we wanted to keep them thinking that we were going to use the trample ability, and we wanted to make them think we made a mistake by only making this a five-five. And the third thing was that we also wanted to kind of we had three guys untapped, which gives the the plus three plus three convoke card, which means this is also only a five-five. So we had multiple ways to kind of get them. They could be like, oh, you messed up. This is only a five-five, not a six-six. Heh heh heh. Oh, they're keeping the trample up, so they didn't tap this guy, so they messed up. But now we're going to eat your demon. We're going to eat your demon. Destroy the demon. We also have a pretty sizable board uh, for them having only two dudes. Are you on? Are you on drugs? Maybe. Demon of many fingers. This guy does have many fingers. Jesus. What is even happening in this art? Vincent Prose. You need psychiatric help, buddy. <laughs> also, this guy next turn is going to be insane. All my creatures get plus one, plus one till end of turn. Do you even know how many... How much plus one, plus one is? Um, Do you know anything about anything? Can I, can I get a pen and a piece of paper? I'll have to, I'll have to come back. I can give you a pretz. I don't... You're done? All right. This is this is not how we eat things. It's funny you say that because I just ate it. Vincent Price did the art for Doom Whistler, yes. It was a very good art. I can't do a Vince, a Vince a good Vincent Price voice. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I have it in me. I would rate your Oh, we did it. Came back. We finally got Firefox to open. Hooray. I would rate your... And then you just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Vincent Price impression, but I couldn't think of the word impression for some reason. So I kind of just stopped. Okay. Let's say you remembered the word impression, right? Mm -hmm. Then your sentence is, I would rate your Vincent Price impression. Go on. Oh, but I don't really know what he sounds like. Oh, really? It's, he's a very classic it. voice. I mean, it sounds familiar, but I just don't... Oh, you're going to kill this, aren't you? You know? I have no idea what you just did. In fact, I'm not sure you're not on some sort of medication. Oh, you're killing this guy instead. Oh, that's interesting. That guy seems worse. <laughs> I want you to read that. I once filled a car following me with 40 pounds of chocolate, but overnight it got hot and melted, but the next morning solidified and filled the whole bottom of the car with three inch. That's amazing. 
I don't know what to make of that, but that's pretty hilarious. All right, so this guy becomes a 3-3. Three, three. They can block three guys that are 13, so they'll obviously block 3-3 three, three here. Um, 2-2 two, two here, maybe. Amara makes another guy, we get to play another guy. So they block 3-3, three, three, a 1-1, a one, one, and a 2-2, two, two, right? Let's say let's say these these three get blocked. Then we're dealing 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we play another 2-2. Two, two. We can also make guys in the future. They can also block here, keeping the unicorn alive, which is also totally fine. I think we just alpha here. Really? Yeah. I, I kind of like leaving that guy back and just starting to make tokes. Well, we can't make tokes yet, though. It's 6. Oh, it's six. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, we can convoke with this and make another guy. But then, like, the point is, next turn they can tap a dude down. They're also going to play more things. Like, I want to start pressuring them. Okay. I don't know, man. It's going to be insane. All my creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Do you even know how many... How much plus one, plus one is? Hold on, I'm going to watch this Brett's clip. Um, do you know anything, anything about anything? Can I, can I get a pen and a piece of paper? I'll have to, I'll have to come back. I can, I can give you a pretz. I don't. You done? All right. <laughs> That's quality content, man. All right. So like this is like this becomes a three three, right? They block here. This is a three three. This is a three three. This is a three three. So they're probably if they block with this guy, they're blocking a one one, because it becomes a two two. So they're blocking three three, blocking one one, and then the wall is going to block another three three, which is this guy. Right, so these three get blocked. So we're dealing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They go to five, and we only lose one guy. And we make two more guys this turn. I'm pretty sure we 100% attack here. Okay. Okay. Because they have to kill the unicorn. And if they do want to trade with this, we just eat that too, and they have two guys on board. Mm. We're also gaining five and going to 36. Sure, this is what we predicted. They could also kill this because it's got a better value in the long term, or this because it just makes us guys every turn. But not killing this is pretty insane. Yep, this is exactly the blocks we said. And then this guy comes, has to kill this, right? So they take eight and go to five, and then we have two more guys on board. So we're still going to have one, two, three, four, five, six guys on board. But all three of these are just super valuable. Brian, have a good afternoon. Have a good night, buddy. Um, yeah, respond to those emails because I don't want to get the the boxes and not know what to do with them or not know what we're doing with them. And I also uh, am interested in that uh, redemption thing that you mentioned. So I'd like to plan on see what I have to. Yep, this is exactly what we figured was going to happen. So they're at five. They also have five minutes. We have eleven. So. And by work, I mean play Mega Man 11. <laughs> well, you got to do what you got to do. Did you send me? I sent you Facebook messages. I said, respond to the things I said. You didn't. Re you never responded to what I said. So I said, hey, make sure you respond to this, this message. And you're like, will do. And that was the last message you sent me. <sighs> sure. That's pretty good. Yep. That's not bad. They have three guys now, so they can go block, block, block. They take two. Yep. This is... This is where the bad times happen. Block, block, block. They take two and we lose two guys. Yep, not doing that. Of course, they have double fight guys. Hmm. I mean, we are at 36 and they have five minutes on the clock. Losing both the Unicorn and the Guild Mage is pretty bad and we have exactly six now. Yep, don't care about you. They do have to win in four minutes though and we have a lot of life. And they have one card in hand. Actually, we just went on time here. That is a lot of lands. I wish I just had a way to tap this. I wish you could just tap creatures for, on a whim. That would make certain cards very broken. Sure. Just the Just the perfect cards all the time. And it only costs two because you, uh, 
They put one card in the graveyard and one card on top. So whatever this is. Yep, that is fine. Not great, but fine. Can we just draw like four or five flyer here? <laughs> okay. 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 Turn your guys. <laughs> Attack with your creatures. They have no cards in hand. Blow them out. Kill their guys. Uh, they block all of them. Well, they had to, right? No. I guess they didn't, but I mean, it's kind of silly if they don't. Yep, we are just going to... Uh, bounty, bounty, bounty. Kill the two four fours and the two five. That kills everything. Well, maybe not. Maybe they don't want to do this. This is taking... Oh, now it's... No, it doesn't. So maybe I just do it on here. Trades here, kills here, and this guy kills too. One, two, three. This guy, we lose this guy, but let's make sure we do it right. Ewok, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. Like, one on here only saves this guy and doesn't kill him. So, yeah, I'm just going to... The hell was that? I don't know. Kitty cat knocking something off of something. <sighs> what was it? It's on top of the washing machine. What was it on top of the washing machine? I don't know. We're also at 42 life and they have three minutes, so I'm pretty sure that's fine. Huh. Well, that's good. This is surprising because the washing machine lid is open and you still got on top of it. Yeah, that's because he's a little shit biscuit. Ba da da, skibbity doo 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 doo. I feel like we're in good shape here. Scoot and do 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 five six seven. We have eight lands, so there are eight lands in our nineteen. They are at five. I'm just gonna send them all in. All cats are, in fact, shit biscuits. That sounds accurate. Yep. So you got a one here? Oh, I always have spells, you see. I have all the tricks in the land. Yep, you got it. So we tried an Arkful Takedown and a Spinal Centipede for a Rosemain Centaur and a Token. And we are at 44 life, so... Oh, that's a good one. Five, six, seven... Whatever. Scootin' do 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 I like your crab! He seems real sad about his life choices. Whatever. Put this on here in case you have an answer for this guy. Even if you don't, it's still lethal, so... Got him! Our deck is still good, even though we flood out a little bit. And we got a good games. All good games, you back, good sir. Good games, good sir. Can we go with the 3-0? I'm trying, man. I'm working on it. Join.
Um, God, we just hope we hit a green. Yes. Got him. Well, you're either going to hit a green and we're going to win, or you're going to not hit a green and we're going to lose. That's a good. That's a good assessment. Are you ready? It's going to happen right now. I'm waiting for if it. If we can just hit land, land. This hand is very strong. Come on, one time, man. One time. We didn't hit it. You are correct. This guy also kills our Imara, so that's really sad. I don't like it. Yeah, but at least they have to sack it. Possibly the best clip of the year. Oh, no, I know what this is going to be. One land, please. One time. Just any land. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. Magic Online, you can eat my ass. <laughs> I was angry at the time. I don't know if you guys could tell. Yep, this is a, an aggressive start. I don't know if we can beat this. Uh, I'm not feeling good about it, per se. Um, might just have to go to the next game because they're attacking for Gee, six. Would you think it was because we didn't hit a brain with us? I would. I would say it's dependent on the fact that we uh, did not hit the amount of the, the requisite resource that we needed to. It's amazing how those just become Coca-Cola in your mouth. These? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Do they? Yes. Okay, take it easy. You don't have to... You don't Never! Have to yep, this is two, two three threes. Oh, we're on two kern clocks. So that's good. A two kern clock. Two kern clock. Oh, and this guy gets a counter next turn, too. That's great. Yeah, you can suck it. <laughs> We just can't cast anything useful. Five mana, five mana, four yeah, mana has no targets. We're super dead. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game here. Alright, so a bunch of bunch of ground pounders. We're gonna bring in the life gain cards. I think we actually have a good matchup against the Boros deck. Um Three power is good on three. I'm gonna bring that guy in. Take one of the girds out. Righteous Blow seems great. Floaty boy seems expensive. That one for each guy? Do we have that? Mm-hmm. Bring that guy in. There's 40 on it. It's fine. I'm okay with it. Sand seems good. If we can just hit lands. <laughs> Famous last words. Well, we know we're going to get to the two drop at least. That's all I've ever wanted. We've only just begun. Candy now mouth noises ASMR. That was why I was avoiding having one of these fresh cola mentos. Because there was a lot of chewing. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. If you're not, I apologize. And I hope you don't unsubscribe and unfollow. Because that would make me cry. Cry. What's wrong with him? Oh, that was it. That's that's the that's the ticket. That's the ticket. It's the ticky. Don't ticky play that. Uh, oh, that's actually great. Oh my god, that's so good. 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 We can actually. <laughs> Can we worm next turn after we companions? It's one, two, three, four, five. So yes, and we can keep up Gird for battle. How Girdy? Whenever you cast a red spell, it gets uh, plus one, plus one. Sure, I don't care about that. Look at this weird, like... Yeah, that's fine. It's like a box with smoke arms. It's like a... Yeah, with a Ghost Rider head. You got the smoke arms Ghost Rider head, a classic. They used to call me old smoke arms Ghost Rider head. Everybody knows that. Do they? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
Big fat boy. I'm going to put a counter on you and a counter on you. Not on the trampoline, bro? It's 5-5. Five, five. It's big enough. I want to be able to block this because it's, I don't know. It's I, I just like, I wanted one guy on this, okay? I think they're just dead. It feels good. Feels good. That's right. That's all I had. It sure was, Michael. It sure was. Play thick boy sound? Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! There you go. Look with your thick ass boy. I actually just wanted to put a counter on this so that the uh, if they play the 2-2 guy, it doesn't kill her. Yeah, I don't care about that. I do not care about your little shit bird. Yeah, I mean, that's good because it makes this guy bigger, but really. This is always going to be a two-for-one, right? Even if you block with these two. Oh, wow, that's aggressive. Very aggressive. Give me Might of the Masses or something. Some kind of tricky here. That's not, literally not it at all. So we can trade here, make another 1-1. One, one. I feel like we just attack with most things. <sighs> this guy just trades. Well, it doesn't trade. It just kills one, right? The honk. The first strike? No, but whenever it blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, it deals one damage to that creature. So uh -huh. it just kills it. Preemptive killing it. Toughness 4 or greater. I mean, you. but if you... I think we're just alphaing here. Like, if you block here, this is a fine trade. We're still getting a guy out of it. If you block here, that's fine. We'll just... I mean, we're going to make it up. And then you can't block 3-3 three, three, and 1-1 one, one on 5-5 five, five because that's not going to do anything. <clears throat> yep. Oh, sure. Trade of the 2-2. Two, two. That's even better, actually. Yep. Deal 1 to it. You got it. So you're taking 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, that's pretty okay. I think our board is really nice. Plus, if we draw any, if we draw the second flower flourish or like venerated loxodon, uh, our board just gets pretty nuts, and it gets worse now because of that. Yep, that's really sad. I mean, we're still in okay shape here. Oh, we're fine. Like they don't really have much against this. I mean, I guess they could have plus two, plus two, and then it's a three for one. But I mean. I'll that's uh, fine. They kept their guys back. Like, we can't block their guys, so... Ooh, plus two, plus two for one mana. Fascinating. Yeah. Righteous Blow. Still three for one. Whatever this is, I'm killing it on the spot. Sure. This is tense. Yep. Oh, yep. Here we go. Top deck city for both players. We are at 23, but... Nobody likes you when you're 23. That's true. Well, let's see if you drew it. I mean, it's vigilant, so if you drew anything, like, we're going to deal with it on the front or the back, so. Nobody likes you when you're 23. And Mike still acts like he's in freshman year. What the hell is Mike's problem? He's never wants to act his age. Wants his age again. What's his age again? Biscuits. Biscuits. And gravy. And gravy. And biscuity gravy. Zoop doop. You got it. That's actually a fine draw. It's essentially 4 4. Agreed. And if we get 10 man out, it's actually a. It's actually a 6 6. I'm turning 23 in exactly one month. No one's going to like you then. It's really sad. 
Especially if you still act like you're... Why don't they just attack there? Don't know. They don't have vigilance, right? flying vigilance guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll probably do it. I can't imagine that not sealing the deal arena. Is this a double block turn? Do they double block? Block them both? Oh, boy. The problem is if they have any removal spell for this guy, it's really bad for us. So one, two, three, four, five. We can actually go pump, 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 put them to four, and we still get to keep two guys on board. Because if they have like righteous blow or anything, it's real bad. Yeah, but I mean, we're we not gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do one here and then two here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're not gonna win the game because it's just an utter blowout if we do that. Right. If they have any rule for this guy, and then this guy, uh, we'd have to do all three on this. Yeah, that's because it'd be 11 rather than. Yeah, so it would have been a pretty ridiculous blowout. <sighs> of course, them drawing Inescapable Blaze. Yeah, the draws have been very good. Yep. Sure. That was pretty insane. Like, of course, that's your one card, and you have six mana. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, if we put it all in there, it would have been super bad. <laughs> Could have also put one on here and two on here. Kind of just middle road. Um, yeah, I'll just take it. Take seven. Five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. So we're really close to actually two pumps. What the hell is going on? Do my friends say I should act like Sage? The so three three on three three. Okay. Hmm. They just kill this guy. I think it's probably more important to kill this. Well, they're at one. Can we just dodge some dodge some draw steps here? How many lands is that we've drawn? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are six left in our twenty card deck. We have drawn an equal number of lands and spells, it seems. Uh, which is unfortunate when you consider we have 16 lands and 24 spells. We also wanted to trade there because uh, it's a two-turn clock with both of these on board. It's only a it's a four-turn clock with only one. That was a very good draw. Yeah, gaining four seems relevant. And a three-four, which gets past this and it's lethal on board yeah that's that's a great draw wow yep don't actually care about that terribly again they didn't attack I don't understand oh well then yeah that's pretty good let's force the issue is it any target? Target creature, okay. Alright, I think we just came back. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Lava coil. <laughs> Alright. 11 lands. And we did not come back yet. That guy can't attack or block alone, so that's actually a blank. F come on seriously 12 lands out of 22 cards we've drawn 12 lands and 
That's ridiculous. Oh, uh, they cannot destroy the enchantment. You think a red card can destroy an enchantment? That would be insane. That is not how red cards work, good sir. Red cards do not destroy enchantments, ever. Yep. Attack for six, and uh, we're basically just dead to that. That's pretty unbelievable. Literally would have an amazing last turn because you can block either one of these and there's just like now we're just still dead. That's super that's absolutely infuriating. Cool. Well, four pack difference because we actually couldn't draw less than sixteen lands that game. So thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, check me out on Patreon and Twitch. And uh, if you guys want to subscribe on either of those forums, uh it definitely makes losses like that a little bit easier to take. Thank you for watching, really appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys next time.